Oh, hey there. I didn't notice you were watching me. Well, thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something called deal analysis. So, when you approach a property owner and you see that they're motivated and they have to sell, um, you're going to want to see what is the best price you can use to acquire that property and make a profit. So there are several ways of going about deal analysis. You can use some free resources. For example, the first resource I'll use is the property appraiser website. So you type in the name, the name of your county, or the name of the county the property is located in, and then website, property appraiser. So for example, Miami-Dade property appraiser or Broward property appraiser. Then after you do that, you kind of want to see what the other properties in the area have sold for. So you can use Zillow, ePraisal.com, and a few other free sites like that. You want to make sure that you're buying your property. You want to take the after repair value, subtract whatever rehab costs you think there are, and then multiply that value by 0.65. And that is where you want to acquire your property. But when you meet with the owner, just give him whatever he wants. And then after you do the initial inspection and your comps and your appraisal, then come back and let him know this isn't going to work out. I go through all these things in massive detail when you get involved with my program. I walk you through every single step of the way. How to do the comps, how to make sure you're looking at good comps, and how to present your offer and your counter offer with your counter arguments. In addition to that, I can also go over the objections that your property owner prospect is going to give you and how to overcome those objections. It's very important that you understand what you're doing in this industry because if anyone gets any wind that you have no idea how to proceed with a transaction, you're going to lose that deal to the other 10 or 20 investors that are competing for your motivated seller lead. And you must have spent a lot of time to get the motivated seller lead. It's a lot of money that can go down the drain if you don't do it right. So. That's basically how you can go ahead and create an excellent uh, composition where you evaluate property and you figure out what needs to be done to make things happen. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, if you're ready to get started, go ahead and sign up for prosincome.com. You can also like, share, and subscribe, and look forward to seeing you soon.